The term centripetal force applies to all circular motion. So for example, a ball kept in a circular path with a string, there is a centripetal force in the tension of the string which keeps the circular path. So if you think about other examples of circular motion, there is something pulling the bodies into the center, which is a centripetal force. In circular motion, the body is continually accelerating, which is quite strange because there is no change in speed. The acceleration is due to a change in direction. The direction of the acceleration and the force is always towards the center. So if you imagine if that force wasn't there, then the bodies would fly off in a straight line outward. Going back to the ball on a string, imagine it going round in a circle. The centripetal force keeps it in a circular motion, keeps it at a constant speed, but changes its direction continually. The force has to be increased if there is a mass of the object increases, if the speed increases, or the radius of the circle decreases, so a smaller circle. All of these would mean that you'd have to pull harder on this string. If you apply centripetal force to gravity, then gravity is the attractive force that affects everything in the universe. So for example, the Earth going around the Sun, because the Earth is moving at quite a high speed, but gravity pulls it towards the Sun, it doesn't get any closer to the Sun, it just simply moves in a circular path. In fact, it's not quite a circular path, it is slightly elliptical, so the force will change slightly as it moves closer to the Sun, but the force keeps it in a circular path. All different planets have different orbit times. There is a pattern here that as you move outwards from Mercury, where it only takes 88 Earth days to go around the Sun, then Mars, and then Pluto, you can see that the time to orbit the Sun is much, much bigger. And that's because it has much, much further to go. And also it's because Mercury and the planets nearer the Sun travel at a faster speed. Two types of satellites, artificial satellites that is, Geostationary satellites and low polar satellites have different orbits. You notice the geostationary orbits are around the equator. And this is because we need the geostationary satellites to always be above the same point on the Earth. So it must take 24 hours to complete its orbit so it stays above the same point, which is very useful for communications. So satellite dishes are pointed at the same place in the sky because the satellite will always appear, geostationary satellites will always appear at the same point in the sky. Monitoring satellites move in a low polar orbit so you can get closer and they can scan the Earth several times a day and beam back messages for spying, for weather satellites, etc.